You! Do you know that you, yes, you, you little gremlin, are directly responsible for me watching what we're going to be watching today? I kid you not, I have had to identify as a post box recently for the amount of people that have been hitting me up in the DMs going, Oh, Makari, you need to watch more Team Fortress 2 content. If I realized that watching my first Team Fortress 2 video all that time ago was going to result in my entire community being Team Fortress 2 pilled, I wouldn't have bloody done it. But here we are. At the very least, I can be glad of the fact that we're not skibbity toilet pilled anymore. So I guess you win some, you lose some. But yes, we're back watching Team Fortress 2 Connor. I took a little bit of a break to get give myself a bit of a breath of fresh air around stuff. But now we're back, and uh, what better way to get back into the swing of things but than by watching how it feels to play the, the Scout from Lazy Purple. So, sit back, relax, and let's enjoy some smooth, groovy content. Oh, I've missed this. I've missed this. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I might, I might joke. I might jest. I might have been a little bit angsty, but I do love high quality TF2 content. Real nice effort, chocolate. I don't think so. Hey guys, look. Hey, 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 look, look. It's uh It's a normie. It's a normie streamer trying to be a normie. And the Team Fortress 2 community going, hey, have you seen our content? Hey, are you gonna watch our content? Hey, you should watch our content. Hey, why aren't you watching our content yet? This is literally what it's like being me trying to get on with my fucking life and having nobody giving me the time of day to watch anything other than Team Fortress 2 content. Hey, Bakari, why you did watch Team Fortress 2 content for like five days. Why have you given up? I'm not gonna subscribe to you anymore because you're not watching Team Fortress. That's you. That's freaking you guys. Wait, did you know that we have a Discord and a Twitch? No. Well, now you do. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you click those little links over there and be part of the fun? Just like the rest of us cool kids, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, back to bed. Chocolate. I don't think I saw that one coming. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> Owie. Ah! Oh, ah! oh, what's up? I cannot move. Uh, my head. Ah! I'm sorry, I refuse to believe that this is an actual player. There are only two types of scout players in this world. The ones that sit there taunting, trying to hit people with their baseball bat, and the ones that die the second they leave the uh, spawn zone. I have never in my life seen a good scout player. So I'm the daddy. <laughs> like, scout legitimately is just a meme. You, you play scout, you get hard counted by heavy, and that's it. That's your life. That's your, that's your lot. That's all your experience is. That was a recreation of a 6v6 clip that shows just how insanely powerful Scout can be when he's in the- Yo, Tia! Thank you so much for the raid, darling! Thank you, thank you! ADHD editing cut! Now you might be asking, hey, Makari, what happened to your model? Ha 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 Don't worry- d uh, uh, d oh. D don't- don't worry about it. All that matters is we're getting back into the video. Ha! Back to the video! In the right place at the right time with the right place being behind you and See, that the, was the right thing time with scout. Doing I, I, I get that if you're Wait, a good scout player, you're going to be a great scout player. I, I said this before when, I, when we, we've ever talked about the scout before. You are either God's gift to earth that will kick everybody's ass or you suck made donkey dick because scout has a very high skill cap. You're either someone who understands his trajectories, his bouncing, you know how to use the uh, force of nature to make you bounce all over the place or you don't you suck. Real funny. Kamari's sanity, Kamari's dignity, Kamari's stream. I have a feeling you guys don't like my streams. <laughs> Every quest in the game would perform better if their opponents were always turned away doing other things. Fuck you, Scout. My job sucks. Oh, yeah. Okay, and and, and now we know that Scout is Spy's son. Opponents, right? Spoilers. Because they both have the tools to get there. Spy with his on-demand invisibility cloak and ability Ooh, to disguise I love his spy. The team. And Scout with his... Uh, oh. being really fast. What the? <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> like, isn't that the entire point of Team Fortress 2? Like, they did a really good job of making every class feel immensely unique and useful in their own right. But every class has, like, the counter. I don't think there's a single class in Team Fortress 2 that is, like, perfect. Like, e like even the ones that feel like they're OP, only feel like they're OP because they their skill floor is very low. They're very easy to play to get into and be okay at them. Things like the Scout and the Spy, they feel weak because you need to be god tier at them to get the most out of them. Okay, except for the Sniper. If you play, if you play Sniper, you are officially a new. 
But let me be clear, you shouldn't play the mid fight this way. Seriously, don't do this. Yes, the clip is a uh, little contrary actually, to what I'm saying. Actually, yes, you I did should because it shows how big your PP is. Fight. But please, try to ignore that. See what no, 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 Papa, Papa, listen, listen. The great thing about Team Fortress 2, sure, there's absolutely a meta as to how things play. But if you're really fucking good at the game, screw the meta. If you want to play scout and go straight balls to the walls in people's faces, if you got the skill to pull that off, you goddamn do it. If I see a, if I see a combat medic pulling out the crossbow and going, doing more damage and being more of a, a giga chad than, uh, than, 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 than the actual DPS classes, fucking do it. That's, that shows the true skill. Skill over class any day. What I didn't show you is what it took to get there. At this point here, I'm forcing my team to fight 5v6 for at least 10 seconds, which might be how long the fight lasts. This clip is from the round right after the last clip, and you can see I'm a little nervous that they'll be ready for my cheesy <laughs> clip this time. It Dude, I love seeing that hesitance. To their intelligence. POV, you're playing any Team Fortress 2 class that has less than 150 health. <laughs> oh golly gee i don't know whether i should commit or not oh if i go in there i'm gonna have some heavy grab me by the forehead and throw me into the wall and treat me like they're yaoi oh golly gee it's for me to try this again and Oh no, the other hard counter to the scout. To the Explosives the or any kind of damage. All sorts of aggressive routes. And when you get your chance, you wait as long as you can for the perfect... That's never blind. This is it. This is... This demo's blind. I mean, I know he's wearing a mask, but hello, demo? Do you not see this anorexic twink that's running up on you with a fucking double shoddy? I mean, it's always to be said, you know. Meta clashes of being countered by characters that are clearly meant and designed to counter your class will always be overridden by sheer incompetence. This is the moment. If you play, play me, any thank you for the follow. All, this image is causing your brain to release dopamine. You got him. That demo's as good as dead. You carry. Oh, okay, I realize he's the demo, but What's that? You want to shoot just don't lore. There's no It's need. a dude playing a game. Just look at the crosshair. Its luscious curves are overflowing with his hitbox. It's screaming Is he flub this? out that every pellet will connect. Scout, if you we flub can this, the next scene. Mm -hmm. no, no, fine. Then show us, show us how it feels to play Scout. Oh no! Oh, oh! Bliss, bliss. What it took a while for me to realize as well is that uh, when you get the other weapons in the game, they're not necessarily upgrades as opposed to side grades that give you different playstyles. I was always under the impression when I first played Team Fortress 2 that when I got a new gun, it was supposedly just better. When in reality, they were just, you know, different ways of playing that class, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> ah, me watching Jojo for the first time. Uh, do you still play Warframe? No, uh, not really. Uh, we haven't really done anything Warframe related for a long old time since the developers decided to <laughs> the ass. I don't, I, I still like the game, but the developers have made sure that I have a very bad taste in my mouth. But still, as you to join us. A lot of people here still play Warframe. So, you know, ask questions if you want. Also, Senorat! Hi, thank you for that to your scheduled program. Uh, play me, I'll talk about it later. Remind me after we're done watching this video. Using the alternate routes throughout the map. Like I always say, you're not out of position if you can kill the medic in two clean shots. And that's kind of a point of scout, right? If I'm not mistaken. Big damage, big maneuverability, but as flimsy as a paper mache boat in the ocean. Oh, it's all good, Flamey. It's all good. But really, there's nothing better My than two-shotting the, game the, the enemy medic and announcing to your team, Yes, I got their down, down. Realistically, I would say the scout definitely ends up being- Thanks, Anna. If you can't hit scout, but he hits you, eventually, well, you look pretty I was gonna say, I, I feel like the scout is one of those classes that has the most means. satisfying like execution ability. If you play oh, scout hey, well, you, you get that satisfaction of knowing you're doing well. well. But if you play shit, it feels like crap. That's something that I love about being the ultimate life form. 
No matter how low my health is, I can Yo, still destroy Yo, look at him dipping enemies. around. Farewell. I found you. I, I, I will also say, from personal experience, the scout might be the most obnoxious character to fight as any other class. Unless you're maybe the heavy. But if you're fighting a good scout, trying to hit them is like trying to swat a fly out of the air. Like, get out of here, you! Get the fuck! Get the fuck! No, don't fly in my ear! Ah, stop nibbling my shoulders! Oh, get out of here! Faker! Chaos control! C wow! He's fast! I'll show you my true power. <laughs> Anime moment. No way! How pathetic. The difference between a soldier with three health and the ultimate life form with three health is enormous. Scout yeah. can take that three health to the fifth. Duh, the difference being is if you get hit, if you're on three health as a scout, you're probably dead anyway. If you're on three health as a soldier, you probably played so craply that you're dead anyway. Difference being is, scout's always living on the edge anyway. Finish line, whereas slower classes are easy pickings. I was the only also, one if any of these Also, if any of the Team Fortress 2 characters were meant to be an anime character, me. the scout would be it. Whether it's three health or 200, I'm an unstoppable force. Huh. You're not Sheesh. even good enough to be my fake. All right, yeah, I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> but the craziest thing is that Scout can often avoid these marginal situations thanks to one of the most powerful abilities in any multiplayer game, the ability to pick your fights. Hello, Scout. Yeah. Come on, man. See, what I always I tell myself. It shouldn't come as a surprise that Scout. Uh, man, call this hubris if you want. I will sometimes pick up Scout as a character to play to fool myself into believing that I'm good at the game. And instantly, every goddamn time, without fail, every time without fail, the second I pick Scout up, I'm reminded, oh wait, I f***ing suck. <laughs> the most powerful trait is his speed, but it is surprising just how many ways a 33% Yeah, no, we stick to playing soldier. No, we, we stick to soldier. We do. <laughs> I can run around and be like, whoa, nope, that's not a good situation. Then wait a second and say, just kidding, this is a great situation. Of course, I'm a little out of position in the enemy spawn, so I'm going to have to rely on my speed to get me out of here. Woo! Are you seeing That this? was a close one. One wrong move and I was toast. These were over here, and they were going this way like, Ow. and I was going this way. So we were crossing paths. So I would have died if I went straight. See, Scout, your problem was, you just need to drink more uh, bonk punch. You need to be more energized. You need to be more when caffeinated. You need some of that taurine in your body. Like, if you ever you. die, it's just because you weren't going fast enough. You're, you're done here. But my thirst for blood has only Channel begun. that inner cl uh, split, cripplingly monster-addicted prime energy chugging mother trucker. Alright, look, no one's perfect. Another benefit of picking your fights is that you can completely ignore classes you can't deal with. Here, I'm trying to be sneaky, but get spotted by their sniper right away. I swear to God, the sniper, anyone who plays the sniper is like the most shameless of characters. The only other class that I feel plays even remotely like the sniper like that would be the soldier in a way. But it's that little peek they do where it's like, oh, I better not stick my dick outside of this room. Otherwise, I'm going to fucking die. And just those little peeks like that is quintessential sniper play. Oh, I'm too much of a pussy. I better stay inside where it's nice and warm and cozy. I got my Gerardi and everything. I know I shouldn't do it. I know I've been called Scott, out. Yes, Scott, yes, Scott. I know I'll get caught, but... Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's what it means to play Scout. You embrace the intrusive thoughts. Playing as the Scout fills you with energy. It fills you with Metal Gear Revengeance levels of confidence. Sure, you'll be humbled nine times out of ten. But that one time that you embrace those intrusive thoughts and channel your inner crackhead, you will be the play of the game, and all those other nine times will look like nothing by comparison when you are elevated to the heights of scout peak play. I don't care what they throw at me, even if it's time to run! Nice hustle, <laughs> fun. Next time I need a salad. Wow. Oh, oh. You bleed an idiot! Hmm, <laughs> yes. And, and you say that the heavy is supposed to be a counter to scout. Sometimes your only responsibility is to go fast. You may be a lean, Absolutely. mean, killing machine, but you win the game of two Never two not by fast. capturing Guys, the objective. Remember, yeah. remember your ABCs. If you remember your ABCs as a scout, you will never fail. A, B, C. Always be constantly a c 
And that refers to being fast, being obnoxious, being in people's face, and smearing your bonk punch covered lips all over their Just do it. And boy, are you equipped to capture that objective. With your speedy little legs and double capture rate, you can single-handedly win some games on your I've own. I've done this seven times. I may not be a good scout, but you don't need to be good at scout to use this speed. that you're the only one that can save the game by reaching the objective. It's kind of weird as well. I, like, I know I said earlier that the most class, like, all the classes have their unique, like, separations and everything. I feel like Scout is the only one, kind of like how the Sniper is the only one that really has the ability to be at long range, really. Scout kind of has that sentiment with his speed. Like, some of the other classes kind of overlap with each other a little bit. You know, Pyro and Heavy, uh, NG and Demo, that kind of jazz. But Scout, there isn't really anyone else in the game that has any similarities to his playstyle. Not really. I mean, Demo can, like, and that's, I guess, I guess that's kind of why you have different weapons, right? Like, different weapons can change up the playstyles, but, yeah, hmm. Yeah, I guess Demo can, I guess. Still, that's why, that's why Team Fortress do so good. Adjustability. Barely made it. Hmm. <clears throat> I will not tolerate a single comment saying that I was not the difference maker there. In fact, I'm so um, inflate my ego, match, please. See here. Hey, if you look want, at this you can graph, the video and check it yourself. wouldn't it make you, you laugh? But you could. <coughs> Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> One more thing that your speed does for you is allow you to act as a punish class. Be Wait, how do you get your UI to look like this? I've always wondered. I, I hate playing Team Fortress 2 and having my gun take up 90% of my goddamn screen. How the hell do you get your UI to have that much of an FOV? Being a dangerous mobile threat gives you a large territory in which like you can punish GoPro on the back of your spine or something. Hey, you suck! What the hell did you just freaking say about me, little bitch? Oh, I have no idea. Like, Talk like Lance and the Navy Seals. I've been involved in no more cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just got insulted. Did you just insult me in the Team Fortress 2 game? Motherfucker, you're gonna die. You you're gonna die. Demo man, and it's usually a pretty easy kill, unless they're a god. Holy shit! Soldiers have a. It's called luck. It's called luck. If the gods gifted that demo the wind direction to be exactly at the right angle to guide that grenade directly into your grundle, yeah, that's not skill, that's luck. Similar ability to cover a radius, but they have to fully commit with a rocket jump. While rocket jumping can be very flexible, sometimes it's just not. This point is mine. This matter is dead. Soldier. <laughs> Damn it, Aww, soldier. You, closely, you left your healer, buddy. Your Shame. Shame that. Uh, dreaming. We're not. We're not anymore. That's why this donathon's happening. Oh hey. Oh, he hears yeah, the fear gotcha. within Incoming. the healer's grundle. Oh, oh. No, gun can buy an inch person. Crackheaded. <laughs> Man, I'm getting I'm I'm getting an urge to want to play some scout. Yeah, no, I'm get, I'm getting a mighty urge to play something that makes me uh want to chug some Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I love this guy. He died. He's taken me from my first ever five kill streak in a pub to trying my heart out in competitive leagues. Actually, that was the reason that I picked up TF2 in the first place. Something about running around with a shotgun and being a deadly annoyance seemed really novel at the time, even though his game- Like, I'm pretty sure, wasn't the Scouts, uh, wasn't Meet the Scout one of the first Meet the Characters we ever had? I'm pretty sure, right? It was one of the first? Because I, I remember, I remember seeing the ad, the, uh, the Meet the Characters for Team Fortress 2, and it was actually, I think, the Scouts that I thought I saw the first, and seeing that, that made me want to play Team Fortress 2. I think, the, I think the way to look at the scout is that he is definitely, he is the height of heights, but also the lowest of lows. You'll have great peaks, but you'll also suck major donkey with him. Gameplay can be boiled down to just running and shooting. It honestly feels like the skill cap with this guy never ends. Scout is just fast enough to be in control of how much damage he takes, and his shotgun-based gameplay Heavy was constantly first. rewards yeah, I, I, I thought accuracy. it was the, I knew it was the, the Heavy or the Scout first, I can just remember which. ...to uh, fill out the rest of this clip. It, it honestly, it's, it just keeps going <laughs> and, until I die. It's, uh, what, what I was shaking off some rust in a 1v1 MGE server when who walks in but... So, really, when we look at this, right, the Sniper is just trying to imitate how the Scout moves. Moves. But nobody moves like the scout does. Nobody does. The sniper is like moving around like that because oh, I'm so scared. The scout's moving around like that because he's got purpose. He's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck you. Oh, I'm gonna you right in the ass. Looking cute, 
in my jammies. Long story short, this guy 20 would me. It was a nightmare. But you know what? He wasn't rude and he didn't leave in disgust. He politely stuck around and I improved by playing against him. Yeah, right. oh, yeah. It was a great reminder of how high scout skill can I do like really too much is. to the community. So thanks. Looking cute in my jammies. Thanks. For yeah, just uh, you know, uh, guys, no, don't don't take this the wrong way. You know, I I love the Team Fortress 2 community, but y'all gotta take a chill pill. Just because I don't watch a Team Fortress 2 video on my flop channel once a week does not mean I hate Team Fortress 2. I kid you not. In the time that I've not watched a Team Fortress 2 video, I've had so many people in my DMs begging me to watch more, which I think is really cool, and it's nice to have that ambition, and I, I, I respect that. But I've also had people being like, oh, you fell off. You stopped watching Team Fortress 2. Oh, we, hey, if you don't watch Team Fortress 2, I'm going to answer. Hey, if you're like that, go f*** yourself. I'll watch Team Fortress 2 content as and when I want. I get it. You guys love Team Fortress 2. I do too, but I'll love it and enjoy it in my own time. Stop linking me this. <laughs> Stop Enjoying linking me, me this. Else, how it feels to... <sighs> Look, man, couldn't you have just let me win one? Oh, it's over! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. First of all, like and subscribe if you enjoy Okay. It, please and... Yeah, guys, like and subscribe like the video. I link in the chat. Boom, Go watch it. Patreon. If you Whoa, Patreon! Already... Hey, this is a golden opportunity! You guys should check out the links down below, because we just opened a Patreon ourselves. And make sure you go check out the, 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 the big man himself, because he does stuff and things. So go do that. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!